acquisition strategies and language mixing. So what we are saying now is that it is not an evidence uh, of unitary language system that a child mixes language. It could simply be an acquisition strategy. But please mind it as we are talking about it. There is no one opinion about it. So different researchers talk about it differently. However, right now we are presenting the text which is talking more about um, the language mixing of in children in terms of acquisition strategies. So an important question over here also arises in terms of acquisition strategies, uh, which is that whether the processes of learning a language are the same or different in uh, monolinguals and bilinguals. It is argued that the processes are very much the same. So theoretically, monolinguals and the uh, bilingual acquisition processes are the same. The children uh, learn the languages pretty much the same. Um, so this somehow uh, supports the argument of Slobin that language learning happens on the basis of certain universally operating principles and language mixing becomes a part of those strategies. However, it is important to remember that there is hardly any research in, in, uh, on the infancy stages of bilingualism. Most of the research that is done is um, uh, on school children or on adults. It is also argued that bilinguals have more metalinguistic awareness than monolinguals. Now, what do we mean about metalinguistic awareness? Metalinguistic awareness means having the knowledge about the language in a way that you are very aware what are the implications of using a certain language rather than uh, the other language. Or sort of you have a more keen understanding of differentiating the appropriacy of the use of one language or the other. So a child is speaking Punjabi at home and if the, the language uh, in the school is not Punjabi and it is Urdu or English, the child without being told not to use Punjabi will try to use um, uh, a language that is being used by the peers and the teachers. So this is called metalinguistic awareness and understanding about how a language is used and what is the concept of appropriacy of one language use in a given context. So uh, bilinguals are expected to have or they are assumed to have more metalinguistic awareness precisely because they use context-based languages and they would revert to one language rather than the other in a given context um, uh, depending on who they are talking to. So what is the impact on language acquisition processes? There are researchers who say that bilingual children might take a little longer to speak because they are dealing with a more complex language system. Others believe that uh, when they, even when they take, might take a little bit longer then even their uh, sharpness in understanding or keenness in understanding the language is greater than the monolinguals. Yet there are others who would say it has, there is no difference in how these languages are uh, learned. Uh, again, coming back to the same point, the, since the research on infancy bilingualism is hardly there, so these are only assumptions and they remain assumptions and so that also accounts for this continuing difference across the researchers because the results are, can be interpreted in either way. 
it is also argued that whether it is the monolinguals or it is the bilinguals both of them under extend and both of them um, also over extend w uh, what do we mean by that by over extending their knowledge of language would mean that they learn to know that an animal for instance uh, if we take the example of urdu is called billy so anything a four legged thing becomes a billy uh, or a cat or a billy and they keep on so a little child might even call a cow a billy or a or a, a dog a billy because he or she just thinks that any four legged animal is a is a cat similarly Uh, when a child does not extend a word to the other um, object which is actually the same slightly different then it is called under extension so it is said that both of them monolinguals who know just one language and bilinguals who know more than one language both of them over over extend and under extend also but the bilinguals over extend intra linguistically also intra lingually that is across languages and interlingually also within the same language also while the monolinguals uh, only over extend um, interlingually because they know only one language in any case um, it is also observed that monolinguals might learn the language faster because they are corrected more often by the adults while the bilingual children are given the leeway of experimenting with the two languages more on their own